Hi again, Blue Jacket fans. I'm Jeff Rimmer, and welcome to Jackets TV presented by Ohio Health. Uh, our pleasure to visit this week with none other than the versatile forward for the Columbus Blue Jackets, Mark Letestu. And Mark, how times have changed. You started the season as a healthy scratch. Uh, you look at the team's performance here in recent games. You've played wing, you've played center. And uh, the other night, you got a chance to get involved in the shootout and got what proved to be the game's deciding goal. That's got to make you feel real good. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, like I said, there's been a lot of change for me. Uh, been a lot of different positions, you know, a little bit of defense even on the power play. Uh, but, you know, Todd's used me in a lot of situations for me to succeed. So for, for him to do that for me and put me in a lot of different spots, uh, you know, thankful to him uh, having the confidence in me to put me out there in some spots. And right now, uh, you know, things have been going well for me. Now, you and I have talked privately, and I really appreciate and respect where you're coming from. You've taken nothing for granted. Again, you go back to early on in the season, trying to prove that you even belong in the lineup to where you are right now. Can you talk in terms of uh, how you feel about needing to prove yourself on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, I think that's, that's the mentality you have to have as, as a pro, uh, no matter if you're a first-round pick or an undrafted free agent, that, uh, you know, every day is uh, it's a, it's a privilege. It, it's something that uh, you know you, you can't you can't take for granted like you said every day uh, you're always trying to stay in the league you're always trying to be your best because there's somebody uh, in the minors you know waiting to take your spot and uh, you know it's a dog eat dog world so uh, whether it was at the start of the year trying to prove myself to get in the lineup or, or right now uh, trying to establish myself in this league as a player and as a contributing member of this team uh, you know you're always proving yourself and you're always trying to be better can you talk in terms of your relationship with Todd Richards? Because the two of you were together in Pittsburgh's uh, uh, organization, both uh, in the minors at Wilkes-Barre. Can you talk about that relationship and how it's grown here? Yeah, uh, you know, my first professional full season was under Todd in, in Wilkes-Barre. And uh, it was certainly a trying season for me. You know, I think I had six goals, 18 points for the full season. Uh, and, and Todd was, was, you know, at the time I thought hard on me. Uh, you know, he. He really preached my practice habits weren't good enough. Uh, you know, the, my, my approach to the game had to be a lot better if I wanted to, to be, uh, to get to a higher level. And, uh, you know, now looking back on it, you know, at the time I was probably, you know, disappointed with him uh, for being so hard on me. He was the first coach to really challenge me that way. Uh, but now looking back on it, it's what I needed. Uh, those are now some of the things, uh, practice habits, the way I prepare for games, those are some of the things that uh, make me a successful pro right now. Now, I mentioned uh, the shootout uh, deciding goal here a few, uh, few days back. Take us through it, uh, your thoughts there, get, given the opportunity, and then uh, scoring that uh, game-deciding goal. Yeah, well, he's, he's used me a lot before, uh, you know, whether it was Wilkes-Barre or, or even here, he's used me in the shootout. So I, I kind of knew that I was going to get a chance. Uh, you know, kind of jokingly said, I hope it didn't get to me because I hope those two guys scored uh, before me. But, uh, you, you know, any shootout, no, no different which team or which goalie, home or away, you just, you go to your A move and, you know, sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't, but you, you kind of live and die by, by your best move and, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to go in that night. All right, let's have a little bit of fun here now and talk a little personally. Uh, embarrassing moment in hockey throughout your career. Can you share uh, uh, one of the, those moments with us? Oh, there's, there's been a few uh, goal celebrations of mine that have been, Probably a little over the top, but uh, a couple times I've toe picked and fall, that fallen down on some, some celebrations. So always embarrassing, but at least to get the goal to kind of lean back on. All right, what about the family? Uh, it's growing. Uh, you know, I, I, my wife, uh, I've known her since the sixth grade, uh, growing up with her. Uh, we have one, I have one son uh, right now who's one and a half, Caleb, and we're expecting in April. So the, the family's growing uh, and we're thrilled about being in Columbus, thrilled about being part of the community, and, and would love to be here further. Now, situation uh, for you, you get an opportunity to play here in Columbus. Is this some, uh, some place that we hear players are, are thinking in terms of a great place to live? Some players have come here and said, you know, this would be a great place to settle. Uh, and we, my family, we, we've talked about this several times, that we would love to, to remain uh, part of the community. We, we love it as far as, uh, you know, the family atmosphere where we live, uh, the parks, the neighborhoods. But, you know, e even on the hockey side of things, uh, there's a bright future here. The young players are good. Uh, the management's in place. There's lots of draft picks coming. Uh, this is going to be a winner, and it's something I would like to be a part of in the future. What was it like playing with Sidney Crosby? He's special. Uh, he's, he's got a special talent, but his work ethic is, is second to none. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, I was part of the year with the, the concussion, 
And just to see the way he approached that every day, working to get better and working to get back for his teammates, it never stops on and off the ice for the guy. Uh, and I was injured, unfortunately, at the same time as him. But at that time, I got to spend some time with him one-on-one, uh, -on -one, just working on skills. And he's, he makes you better. You know, he does things with the puck that you want to try and you try to add to your game. And he's never, he's always adapting. He's always getting better. Now, are you a music buff or a movie buff or both? Movie. I'm kind of a kind of a media junkie. I just uh, silly. I remember characters and lines, and but big time into movies. That's my thing, and a little bit of music here on the side. But just uh, kind of a media geek. Well, Mark, thanks for this uh, continued success. You deserve it. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jeff. Mark Lutestu, this week's uh, one on one. I'm Jeff Rimmer. Thanks for joining us here on Jackets TV, presented by Ohio Health.